כי כל הגלגולים כולם הם פועלים תמיד ואינם שובתים מלאכתם גם רגע אחת וכן כל המלאכים ושרפים וכל אחד ממונה על עבודה מיכרס אליו. So even the angels, since this world is one for action and doing, so even the angels in the upper worlds are also, also constantly in motion, constantly doing things. They all have specific tasks they have to do that they're appointed to accomplish and they're always doing them. Right? They know Shabbos, but so even they don't stop from their work and their avodah even for for a moment, right? Another source, more sources, right? It says, they all, as it says in Tefillah, that all the angels, they also do the will of Hashem in awe and in fear. They're happy to do the work, they're so joyful to do the work of Hashem, lots of psukim in, in Navi. They're all Bali of Voda. All the angels, like us, who are supposed to be, are also constantly involved in the Voda's Hashem, constantly doing the work of Hashem. The Philo, Hayud Spheres, that seal us. Okay, a little Kabbalistic over here, but even the Ten Spheres of the is way, way up there in the system corresponding to the Sphere of Chachma, which is the second of the Ten Spheres, uh, for those who understand what Spheres are all about. Him gamkin bali avodah. Even on that level, it's bali avodah, which is way higher levels of love above over here. But it's shaked to our world right now. So therefore, it's also bali avodah, like the Raivad says in Sefer Yisira. V'cho inin avodah the chod tzavah so yonim heinei hurak gamkin l'mashich orkin that you saw his brochure mo the tuva aleihem gufa. And what are they doing? What you know? What are they? They're making you know cars up there. We you know fiery chariots. What are they doing up there? You know. GM, fiery chariots, right? No, but what they're doing, basically, which also would be a pretty more effective use of, of fuel, it's reusable, it's also, uh, anyhow. But uh, the what are they doing primarily is drawing down light to them, to us. That's their job. Their job is to draw the light down, act as conduits to bring the light into the world from the upper levels. The chen lashpia mehem umemata, right, to the mashpia, to, you know, to have influence, to give over. But don't, that's mom, but don't be under the mistaken impression that they have free will. They don't have free will. Because obviously without Yitzhahara, you can't have free will. They have no Yitzhahara, they have no free will. Right? Kemoshes on Shabbos, and on Shabbos. So therefore, they are called Omdim. They are called those who stand still in one spot. They can't go up. They're called Omdim. Angels are called Omdim specifically because they can't go up. They can't. They can't. Um, can achieve you know, any more spiritual greatness than they were created with, as opposed to man. They can't go down either. That's the that's the good side. The bad side is they can't go up. The good side is they can't go back down, or, or back or down. Nevertheless, in the Yesh Bem Gamkin Aliyah, the Chen Yerida, but they do have a Metzias of Aliyah and Yerida, right? Chasva Shalom, I de Maisipanet Damanus. They are affected by what we ourselves do. We cause the angels to go up, or we can cause the angels to go down. Ki be'es Shema Sebene Adam Hain Mekukalim, or as Gormin, his Kiskarvut Hara, the Chotzeva Hashemar Gamkin. It's a phenomenal. Negative impact, obviously, the good side is that we could have a positive impact. But the negative impact is that if we do anything, our actions are they're damaged in any way, that will cause the heavenly beings in the world above the Yerida to go down. Each one according to his own his own level. So in that respect, is kind of a Tzad Bechira, he says, "Vazehu in your mashup the rain, but zapa sefi etzira yesh malachim gam kin onish v'goyim the 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 gamul ayin sham." So the rain is a remarkable thing in sefi etzira. Is is one of the commentaries on sefi etzira. He says that there is an aspect of angels of you know onish. We see that the sitra achra was punished, you know, and and you can have angels that that slip up and and get punished or they get good in the yet. How's that possible? He doesn't hear it. Because who I did quite a bit here, she nasa behem it said, my sub and them. It's more like they're, they're, it's not happening directly because of free will decisions they're making, but it's more that 
their tagalongs that through our free will are bechira because they're they're there to serve us and to act between us and Kesh Baruch Hu, that it's as if they make choices that they could be rewarded for or punished for. And he says, of men they have ever below shach they've onish vagamus. Therefore, there's no it's not really shach it's not really relevant to them in terms of of uh, reward and punishment. Anyhow, the lesson finishes off by saying, not really finishes off, it's actually in the middle of the of the whole thing, but he says, that all all results of good or evil that go from, from potential to actuality in this world, Ashabakhola must be it, which are on all the levels of reality, or at least the bottom three, which are called uh, Briya Yitzira and Asiya. They are the function of those things which already exist. In other words, mankind, they were created. In each world, whatever, and it's always going to have a tributary effect. On one level, it has this impact, and the level above that has a different impact, and the level above that has a different impact all the way up. It's always going to be based upon what was done and the world and the way in which it can affect that world, but it's still a function of man and his ratzon. Right, ki ki the ki zehu koin and avod asher yeshnu gam bechot zevos el yonim gam king kniska and that's also how it affects the avod or why the you know, and the interaction of the avod of the angels in the world above amnam kulam teluim and maiset dam but everything depends upon the actions of man that's the bottom line it all depends upon what we ourselves are doing in the end and how we do it v'harei nasa yidei haadam. That all the reality of good or evil in this world is a function of the free will of man. That goes from potential to actuality in each of the worlds. Kerui lo as is appropriate for that specific world. So, right, whether we're talking about action itself, whether we're talking about speech specifically, we're talking about even just thoughts, because as Nefesh Chaim points out, that thoughts and thoughts are extremely powerful, the Gemara points out as well, that thoughts have a tremendous impact on all of my Sibirishis, and even though a person thinks to himself, it's only happening in my head to me, the reality is, as we see from Kabbalah, the Machshavus has a tremendous impact on the upper worlds, and eventually will we'll, we'll, you know, come down and terrible corruption just as Israel, the Jewish to bring Kayach specific upon what it's going to accomplish and what we hope to avoid as well.